tip today for people using Logic Pro and monophonic synthesizers. So I just got this um, Behringer Pro 1. I've also got a Crave um, as well. Both monophonic synthesizers. They're great, um, but one thing they don't do is, if you think of your keyboard, I can play multiple notes at a time. So, nice chords like that. Now, these are monophonic synthesizers, so they'll play one note at a time. So that's a sound that I've set up. If I want to play three at a time, it, it just skips up to the next key. It just takes the last, the last MIDI input that we've had. Um, so if you create a nice sound, I've got nice, I mean this, this particular sounds quite, quite interesting as a bass sound. Um, it would be nice to be able to play some chords. So Logic Pro has a um, neat thing that's called an auto sampler. And I'll show you that quickly. Um, basically I've set up an instrument here which is just just my synthesizer. Um, it's a MIDI out instrument. If I look at uh, the instrument settings here, I've got my MIDI destination being the Pro 1, MIDI channel 4, that's the one this is set to, and my audio input, input 4. And <clears throat> we simply have that set up so I can play directly from the keyboard. I could record uh, MIDI notes and then it would play back through the instrument. So it just becomes an external MIDI instrument, which is quite cool. But if I want to use multiple notes, what I can do is use the auto sampler. So you basically just add the auto sampler into your chain here and we get the auto sampler window. Now this has got some neat uh, things. Basically it's going to sample each of these notes highlighted in blue. It will interpolate the others so it will kind of make, create the other notes if you like. Um, so it's just going to sample those notes. We can sample all of the notes if we want, it just takes longer to sample. Um, the particular sound I've got has got a sustain that I think is at under three seconds. So I'm going to uh, basically just set this to sample for four seconds. If it's got a longer sustain uh, or a longer decay on the notes, then you might want to keep the sustain for longer. So this allows um, logic to pick the bit in the, the middle so you can sustain the notes. It's quite nice. Um, and I'm going to start sampling from C1. I'm going to end up at C7, which is a bit further than my keyboard. Uh, these notes aren't particularly much use to me. Uh, it's more down here that I find interesting. Um, <clears throat> so it's basically set to sample every six semitones. If I change this, you'll see it's changing uh, on the little display there. I could set that down to one and it will sample every single note, which will take longer because basically it's going to take four seconds to sample each note. So I'll set it to six. That's going to take four, eight, however, eight times, uh, what have we got? Six octaves there. <coughs> eight times six seconds. Um, and that's basically it. So I'm going to sample that now and it's going to ask me for a file name for the uh, the sample. So I'm going to call it Pro One Base and uh, we'll start that sampling. So what you can hear is each note being sampled with its decay, with a sustain and with a decay. So if you wanted to sample every single note you could basically set it, leave the room, make a cup of tea and come back later. Um, this won't take too long but I'll just speed up the video here.
So that's all done. It did sample an extra note there because I'd uh, just set it on a to finish on a sharp note, but that doesn't matter. I could have set that a little bit lower. So now we have got that sampled. I can add the instrument into my uh, project. So now we select software instrument track, auto sampled, and there's my Pro One bass instrument. There it is. That's added straight in. I'm going to mute the uh, existing Pro One, so this now isn't going to play at all. We'll just play the Pro One bass. So there it is playing on the keyboard. All the way up. And I've got all the notes that I want. They're all interpolated, which is great. Um, the other thing that it's added, of course, is I've now got velocity in there. So I can play it quietly, I can hit it and play hard, but the big thing, and the big win, is I've now got chords. There you go, that's magic. Cheers.